Hi everyone, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you the new brand center that is rolling out in preview in Microsoft 365. Uh, we actually will be able to store their uh, fonts, images, and all kinds of things that uh, the company would like to use, and the site owner can do it. So, um, let's see how we do it. I'm testing it now because it's new for me. So I'll go to the nine dots and I will go to the admin center. And you need to be a global admin for this. Under show all, we will go to settings and under settings, we will go to org settings. And here we will search for brand. We see the brand center preview and uh, we're happy it's here. Here we can see a link actually to the official uh, information by Microsoft. There's a step-by-step -step how to do it and we can follow it uh, like we see. So first thing for the setup is actually to give a name to the site. Then the ad site address, we will keep it brand guide and it is needed to create a public CDN. Um, if you're an uh, admin, then you can understand what it means. Uh, all you need to do is to accept and we will create now actually the site. Once we have the site, we actually can have also the, the links. So one is for the app. And the second one is for the Brand Center site. So let's just copy the links and we can have this uh, just in case we, we need them. So this is one of them. This is the other one. And uh, we can go for further. So uh, let's just take this link and actually we could do it directly from where we got the information uh, you see so we can go to the SharePoint admin and see if we have additional settings that we need uh, let's see uh, probably not so we will just uh, now put the link to the site we see here a site was created. It's asking for some kind of design. This is not really important. What we would like is actually the page. So I'll copy also the, the page. And uh, let's see about it. Because this is actually the app that is uh, we wanted to see. So let's make it bit smaller so we can see uh, what we have here uh, as you can see we can manage and add fonts and we can also uh, apply uh, a brand uh, to a SharePoint site so let's try to add a font and here actually uh, you can upload a font um, yeah we can also learn about the fonts, font branding, and customizing. So after I activated the brand center and admin center, uh, I went to one of the sites and I want to see the experience. Assuming I did not add anything uh, uh, of the organization, I want to see what is provided by Microsoft. So I will go to the gear icon and I will go to change the look. Uh, we have something new here, which is actually the font preview, in addition to the theme, header and navigation. If we click here, we can see actually uh, fonts which are provided by Microsoft. If we would add one of the organization, we would see also a grouping of that. So by default, it's the see all UI, Let's see what happens if we change it to the office. So the phone package preview, select and save. And you already see that the fonts have changed. 
and it looks actually uh, quite uh, interesting. Uh, you see, this is different. Uh, if you want, we can uh, uh, compare them. So um, let's go again and we will click on change the look. This time, uh, notice how it changes. So I will change it to this third thing. And you see it has changed. And uh, you see here it's totally different. And if you have specific ones of your company, then obviously you can apply it and the site owner can do. So let's change it, let's say to this one. You see it changes and you see it's here. And uh, it's a really, really uh, cool uh, feature. So um, let's do another experiment and let's choose something which is this this thing. So we will apply and you see uh, that it applies it on all. Now uh, I haven't tested it. If you apply it on a hub site, will it apply also the uh, sites which are associated to it? But we can actually test it uh, next time. So uh, let's just bring it back to the default that we had at the beginning. This was the CO. And you will see we're back to the default that we had. So um, this is a quick overview. And if you have not seen the previous uh, uh, episode on how to set it up to Brand Center, then check it out. Until then, see you in the next episode and I will introduce new features all the time. Goodbye.